Hi guys, my name is Magic and welcome to my channel or welcome back to those who are already subscribed. So in this video, I am going to do a pick a card reading based on what can you do to bring more positivity into your life. So um, I know I haven't been posting, but I have not been posted so much because this I did just move out. So this is a new layout. So I'm still trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. So I apologize in advance if there's any extra sound or extra shadow. So since yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting and the, you know, the layout. So, okay, so without further ado, in front of me, I have these three decks. Pile number one, which is the Tarot of the Divine. Pile number two, the Wizard's Tarot. And pile number three, which is the Paulina Tarot. So, take a deep breath if you guys need to. And choose the one that you guys feel the most connected to. And you guys feel the most strong towards to, okay? So, yeah. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in your pile. Bye! Hello pile number one. So you guys, if you guys choose pile one, you guys chose the tarot of the divine. Alright, so um without further ado, let's get to your reading. Alright, pile one. You guys got the four of swords in reverse, the queen of swords in reverse, and the five of cups in reverse. Now, what I gather from here is that some of you guys, or probably most of you guys, just went through something. Um, not to say traumatic, but you guys just went through something that makes you guys feel down. And you guys are still possessing on that event, but... The five of cards here being individuals that you guys manage to, well, you guys are on the way to overcome the um, you know, the sadness that you guys are feeling towards this kind of event. So what you can, what you guys can do to bring more positivity into life is that the four of swords in reverse tells about it's not the time, it's the time for action. I would say it's the time for action because we can see um the uh Fenry here. Because if it's is if it's in reverse, it's a time to rest, but also at the same time preparation, you know. So, but it being reverse it shows that it is it's not the time to rest anymore. It is a time to move forward from this sadness that you guys might be feeling. So, you guys need to take action. You guys need to take active steps towards clearing your mind, towards getting over this sadness, over this event that you guys just went through. Under the Queen of Swords, this might refer to you guys might being too, you know, too cold to someone or maybe too, like, trying too much to find the truth or the meaning behind this event that you guys are unaware of other people's feelings. Now, because the Queen of Swords is all about finding truth, it's all about finding the clearer, the, the clearer mind, you know. And so, this being the wish, uh, I'm getting the feeling that you guys might be feeling some sort of cold towards other people maybe you guys have to focus on trying to get over this that you guys are unaware of other people's feelings now this card is telling you that in order for you guys to be bring more positivity into your life you guys also need to be aware of your surrounding be aware of other people's feeling and not just focus on your own experience on things be more um mindful on how you say or how you act towards other people right because um you know 
what someone is going through doesn't give anyone the right to or doesn't justify how they act towards other people. So you guys need to while still maintaining the queen of swords in your in, in, in you, while still trying to process, while still trying to overcome your own sadness, you guys also need to be mindful towards other people. You guys also need to be more aware of how you act towards other people. Now this five of cups here, like I said, I have like you guys already process this event, already process whatever sadness, whatever things that you guys been through and you guys are doing well so far but also at the same time you guys unfortunately did not was while only focusing on your own feelings you guys are unaware of other people's feelings like right? so yeah um what else can i say you can see that this wolf here or this fenrir or if you guys don't know the tale of the divine the deck is actually based on many different uh folklores and mythologies all around the world uh and the fourth source specifically is about fenrir from the norse mythology and um you know fenrir uh in norse mythology it says that fairy is the one who's supposed to bring the uh Ragnarok, the end of the world technically so it being reverse kind of shows that it's it a time to maybe you you should call out the fender in you maybe um you know take action to overcome this fender so take it as you may by uh the force of universe shows that it's time to take action and it is time to take more active action, more act, more active steps towards improving and bringing more positivity into your life. Alright, so, yeah. And I guess that's all that I have for you guys. Um, I'm still very rusty, <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have a very wonderful day all night whenever wherever you are and if you guys enjoyed this reading give me a like and a comment on what are your thoughts on this reading so yeah hope to hope to see you guys in my future videos and have a very wonderful day all night bye all right hi pile number two so if you guys choose pile two you guys choose the Wizard's Table by Baba Mo. So, let's get to your reading. So, pile two, you guys got the five of wands in reverse, the strength card, and the nine of wands in reverse. So, I do have to bring these cards up close because they are pretty dark in this lighting. But, Hopefully that you guys can still see. Alright, so what you guys can do to bring more positivity positivity into your life is do not let this competition or this chaotic energy that you guys might be experiencing in your life hinders you or affect you in a negative way that might make yourself lose weight, lose passion, right? Now this competition or this um chaotic this chaoticness this chaotic energy that you guys might be experiencing in your life might happen for a reason but it's you guys might not be but you guys might not see it or understand it yet right so 
maybe this competition, maybe you guys are feel threatened in a way. Um, maybe you guys are feel you know all this. Um, you know, like other people are trying to fight for them, uh, trying to fight. Uh, to see which one is which one is better, or maybe other people trying to do things. Um, to bring or to to be more successful in the life, right? Might get you down because you guys are starting to question yourself that maybe should I do the same? Should I also be as chaotic as these people? Um, the strength card is basically telling you that you sh you shouldn't be. You can be if you want to, but you shouldn't be just because other other people are being chaotic. Right, you should not be, or you should, you, or you should not try to match your energy with other people's energy, if it doesn't resonate with you. Right, if it doesn't correlate with you, if it doesn't call for you to do that, do not just do it just because other people are doing it. Now the strength card is um telling you to trust your own strength, trust your own inner uh, wisdom your inner uh, your your own ability your own um your own strength in a way that's like this wizard here right she's befriending this dragon which other people might be afraid to go to right but this girl managed to overcome this strength all on her own all by herself so the strength uh the strength is basically telling you that it's okay if you think that you guys that your energy does not match other people's energy it's okay that you are not as chaotic as other people as long as you know what your strengths are and do not let that affect Thank you, you know, and once you trust your own strength, once you know your own strength, you can bring more positivity into your life. Trust your own ability to bring more positivity into your life. Do not just because other people, just because you see other people are you know trying, um, uh, just because other people you see that other people are fighting, just like this in this five of wands here, maybe some sort of competition is going on in your life. Just because they are having this competition and you are not in that competition, doesn't mean that you should, you know. And you can if you want to, but like I said, you don't have to. Because. You have your own strength, you have your own way of doing things, you have your own ability to overcome whatever hardships life throws at you. You have your own dragon to tame. You have your own magic, your own ways, your own spells to cast to tame your own dragon, right? So, um... Um, yeah, um, it's a thing, sorry, my cat was, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Knight of One is also telling you that, also reminding you that you have this passion, you have this, um, ability to move forward, you have the strength, the ways, the ways are right in front of you, but maybe you guys are feeling a loss currently, so, the Knight of Wands is telling you that you have to find your own way. Maybe you have to reground yourself. To maybe you have to ground yourself. Maybe you have to re-evaluate yourself. Whichever, which uh, whichever you can do. Um, so try to focus more on your own strength, not other people or how other people do it. Do not just be. As chaotic as other people, but without any direction, you know, you can be. But if you are, you can be. But if you are as chaotic as other people, right? Like all these other wizards here, you guys can see. But you guys have no direction. You guys don't know where to go. Then it's basically useless, right? You guys. You guys have the energy, but you guys. If you guys don't know where to go, then it's just a waste of energy. It's just a waste of time to pursue this, right? 
So the nine of wands is which reminds you to find your way, to find your purpose, and trust your own ability, your own inner strength, your own um you know ability in a way to find your way and that from there you guys can bring more positivity into your life you guys can be more you guys can be more positive you guys can bring more positivity into your life yes i'm sorry i know i'm repeating myself but yeah <laughs> so yeah um all right so Ooh, what else what else So the ones here might be talking about um maybe your own passion, maybe your own interest that you guys find and maybe your own your interest has something to do with um you know uh creativity in a way. Um and maybe this passion, maybe other people has already started this passion and other people has already started being in front and you guys just start right and the cards are basically telling you that it's okay it's okay to just start at least you start you know at least you find your own way at least you make your own way to start at least you find your way how your way to start this right so yeah so yeah that's all I have for you guys today. Um, hopefully that you guys enjoy this reading. Um, this reading has been as chaotic <laughs> as this five of wands, but hopefully it resonates for you guys and hopefully it helps. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully it reson resonates. Hopefully it helps. So yeah. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this reading and give me a like and a comment on your thoughts on this reading. So hopefully you guys have a very wonderful day or night, whichever, whenever you are. And hope to see you guys in my future videos. So yeah, have a very wonderful day or night, whichever, whenever. See ya! Alright, so pile number three, if you guys chose pile three, you guys chose the Paulina Tarot. So uh, before we begin, hopefully that the lighting doesn't give too much glare. But if it does, I will just bring the, I will just bring the, card, the cards closer to you guys, okay? So the cards are already shuffled and let's get to your reading. Alright, pile three. So, what I got from you guys. Alright, so as I was saying, sorry, the camera got cut off. So, as I was saying, you guys already did the soil. You guys already planned the seeds, right? Now, you guys, all you guys have to do is wait for it to go. But you guys don't have to just wait for this thing to be fruitful you guys don't just have to pound her too long just like this girl here if she's waiting for this to become the things that she wants sorry maybe they have been fruitful maybe they have gone but it's just that maybe you guys it's not something that you guys want maybe you guys are still waiting for that thing to become the ten of cups that that you guys want in your life so, but the the cards are telling you that you guys should not ponder too long, too much, and too long on this one thing. You guys need to move on. That's all I can say. <laughs> let this grow. Let this fall. And if it doesn't grow into something that you that you guys want, move on to the next, and maybe, um, start a new seed. Start start planting new seeds. Start. Uh, up growing new plants, uh, start getting new skills. If it just talks about skills, um, yes, this thing that you guys have been doing, you guys might have been pouring a lot of effort, a lot of energy into it, and you know, we all want the things that we have been pouring too much, the things that we have been pouring too much. We all want it. Uh, to become the things that we want but sometimes um, maybe 
it might not so we have to move on right so um yeah what i guess that i don't know if uh it's too direct for you guys but what i got here is that should not ponder too much should not ponder too long just like this fourth cups here be uh appreciate what you guys have and you know and you know and because if you guys like like this girl if you guys upon the on too on this thing too long right you guys are unable to see this upcoming positive thing that you guys might be receiving and this might just be new you guys because but the fact that you guys are still waiting for this whatever thing that you guys have done to become fruitful to become the ten of cups that you guys want that you guys are unable to see these new things this might possibly better things that are coming to you so um yeah so in order for you guys to bring more positivity into your life in order for you guys to be more positive you guys need to maybe sometimes you guys need to start fresh or maybe just wait for whatever thing that you guys have been putting effort on maybe you guys just put it aside and wait for it to go and if it doesn't just plan a new one right um so because like this is life i'm sorry but this is life and maybe some things might not turn out the way we we, we want it but um that's the give of life we can we can always start again we can always do other things and you know uh focus things focus our mind on other things right and um maybe what you guys can do is still if you guys want to maybe you guys can still maintain these things that you guys have been uh looking forward to but, but you guys need to start also at the same time do other things too you know maybe uh plant other seeds and while waiting for this seed to grow start focusing your efforts start focusing your energy on this new thing that way more positivity can come into your life and maybe um this time the ten of cups will definitely come to you all right so yeah that's all i have for you guys today pile number three hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading hopefully that you guys have a very wonderful day or night whichever whenever you are so yeah give me a like and uh, a comment on your thoughts on this reading and subscribe subscribe if you haven't so hope to see you more hope <laughs> i'm so sorry hope to see you guys more in my future videos and have a very wonderful day or night, whichever, whenever you are. So yeah, see ya!